Good morning, all. I'm coming to you from Greenback, Tennessee, and I have pretty much just awoken within the last hour. And uh, I feel a great urgency on my heart, in my spirit, to share their video this morning. So excuse my morning face. Um, I just coming to a place in life, in spiritual things, um, where I care about this much about what people think about me, and a great big part of me doesn't care anymore. And I guess that's a good thing. And that's part of the reason why I feel such an urgency to share this morning what's on my heart and what I feel the Holy Spirit is saying in the earth right now. Um, and I'm going to cut right to the chase. There is a great legion, there are great legions of demons being released in the spiritual realm. And it is very serious. And I know that a lot of people think that I sound crazy. But I know there are those of you who are spiritual warriors and uh, those of you who have been tormented by demonic entities in the past who will bear witness with this because you can feel and sense the rising of these spiritual powers right now. Um, there is a great... We know that we've been in a great awakening. We know that we've been in a great um, shaking of the earth and uh, the entire world. And we have just bumped into another level, serious level of spiritual warfare. Um, so areas in darkness that have been either tormenting for years and years and years or areas of darkness that have been suppressed for years and years and years, um, they will be unleashed. They will be allowed to be released right now. Um, and it's going to get serious. It, it, it already has. It's begun. It's going to get very, very serious. Um, and it will manifest in physical realms. It will not just be in spiritual realms. It will manifest in, in the physical. Um, this is happening on a mass scale in, in higher spiritual realms, higher than this earthly realm, in other dimensions, and down to the soul level. So if there's areas of our lives where we feel God has been trying to expose and reveal, and we have been pushing that away and trying to avoid, um, we won't be able to avoid it. For those that have been surrendered, accountable, open, allowing that exposure and surrendering, to go through that narrow gate, there will be grace and there will be protection. Um, ultimately, everything is subject to the greatest, highest spiritual law of God, which draws, which, which draws all things back to the light. But as we know, sometimes, say when someone is delivered of a demon and the house is swept clean and that person goes back to the bondage of that thing and doesn't move into the light of God and move into the deliverance that they've been given, seven more demons will come back. That's what I'm talking about right now for those that either have had a house swept clean and have not moved in that way through the narrow gate, there will be unleashed, so to speak, seven more that will be not just exposed, but released, unleashed. I just keep getting the word unleashed. There's an unleashing happening. I mean, we know if, if you follow what's happening at CERN and 
I have different ideas about that, you know, and I don't really uh, put a lot of faith in the whole psyop of this matrix, but then again, it is an enactment of what is really happening, so to speak. But, but you know, I put my faith in higher, in God, in, in higher spiritual law, in, um, in the higher kingdom. And we know that there is great warfare that goes on in spiritual realms. And right now, there is an opportunity for great redemption, great deliverance, but it is going to be very intense, extremely intense to walk through. Um, if we have not been walking through those places in the grace window, there's been a grace window, and I've been kind of posting about this, that there's been a window of grace, there's a window of grace, and it's kind of closing. And, um, there are windows of grace. There are windows of time where specific things are happening. It isn't just always the same measure of everything all the time. Um, there are different seasons. There are different windows. There are different doorways. There are different um, you know, time gaps of periods of time where things are happening. And we are There is now a closing of that window of grace, and now we are entering into an unleashing of spiritual powers and spiritual forces, both for darkness and for light. And I say this humbly because we all have darkness. I have darkness, and it gives me the fear of the Lord. And I really feel that the fear of God is so misunderstood without the Holy Spirit. I love the fear of the Lord. And I call out to God for the fear of the Lord because there isn't just safety in the fear of the Lord. There is deliverance. There is blessing. There, it's where all the blessings flow because it truly means that we trust God's law. We trust God's heart. We trust God's love for us no matter what happens to us. And sometimes that's, that means walking through very painful things because we carry within us the darkness of our ancestors. We carry within us the iniquities of you know our forefathers and mothers so if any of us thinks we've arrived you know maybe because we said a prayer or something we are <laughs> dealing with things we cannot even see and the more we realize that the more we just get really low you know we get into the fear of the lord and we are humbled and we are desperate you know for god to take over in us and to know that we, we have no power and we want to surrender our power in that place. And this is an hour of power where we are either surrendering our power, small p, for an unleashing of God's capital P power in our lives, the power of the Holy Spirit, and whatever that means for us to be unleashed in our lives, or we are walking in our own soul power, small p, and there will be consequences for that. And we can have a lot of self-deception in that place. Small p. We can have a lot. there. If we are walking in that small p power of our own soul, we are in self-deception. And we all are to some degree. And that's why we can't judge and we can't um, point a finger and we can't, you know, talk about everybody out there. We've got to take these messages in for ourselves. We are at the mercy of God at every moment for ourselves and for our children. We are humbled and at the mercy of God, calling out, crying out to surrender our own power, small p, for God's greatest power. So there is an unleashing happening right now in the spiritual realms of power both for darkness and for light. And things are gonna get kicked up real strong. This is a warning and I just felt that I had to release this warning today. I don't wanna do these videos. I, you know, I know a lot of people just have a lot to say about everything and it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I just have to be obedient. 
So if you are touched by anything said here, ask God to reveal your own self-deceptions, where you're walking in your own soul power, where demonic entities, where darkness is hiding, where it, where it wants to hide both in you and in your children and children's children, in your community, in your region, in your world, because it touches you and it manifests through you and it affects you. There is no zone of being demilitarized, being not in it, not in this spiritual um, war or spiritual combat. <laughs> Whether we want to believe we're not, we are. And um, the greatest uh, receiver of God's power will be the one that bows low, will be the one that allows the exposure, will be the one that is humbled to repentance, true repentance, which exposes, allows the exposure and says, yeah, I have this darkness. God, deliver me. I can't do it. I can't free myself. I'm tormented. I hate it. I rebuke it. It will be that one that can receive the mercies in that, in this time that is now upon us. And, um, you know, for those that are strong in spiritual warfare, I just feel to release a warning um, because we have a lot to say online. We have a lot to, you know, declare and that's great yes we need strong spiritual warriors um and i i hope to be in that camp you know i pray to be in that tribe but at the same time let us not be tripped up by pride and by self-righteousness and um thinking too highly of ourselves thinking that there are things that we cannot see in ourselves in our children in our children's children let us not be tripped up by thinking that we have arrived, but let us take the humble posture in knowing that we need deliverance, we need the power of God, we need to surrender, we need to walk in this humility. And God can only give us this humility. The Holy Spirit shows us this humility through brokenness in the presence of God, where we see how awesome is God's power and how needy we are of it so i just pray right now that this spirit of humility would be released right now just as great spiritual forces of darkness and light are now being unleashed in the earth i simply ask you god that the spirit of humility would be unleashed and go before us and infiltrate our entire beings body soul and spirit that it would protect us, that it would guide us and lead us, that it would humble us, that it would allow us to receive your power, capital P, the greatest force in all spiritual realms, and that it would bring great deliverance to us and to our descendants and to our regions and to our communities and to our world and everywhere that we touch, and that we would be vessels that would bring that power, that would change the atmosphere wherever we are, both in the natural and in spiritual realms. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, amen. Protect. by your holy blood. Amen.